what's up beautiful people welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here my name is Leticia and on this channel we do a lot of home decor DIYs as well as some lifestyle so today's video is going to be about some home essentials or home decor that I just recently bought as well as that I had for a little while I think I bought them last month but you know it's new <laughs> so I'm just gonna go into that and tell you guys what I bought so far and what my plans are for them so I'm just gonna start off by store items because I don't really have a plan I was going to start off by the area of the house I say this is for the kitchen this is for that but I think if I start by store it would be a little easier for me so let's start by store so the first item I'm gonna be showing you guys are these black matted plates and as you can see it gives almost a gray hue but they're black I promise <laughs> it gives almost a gray hue and they are black and matted and we bought this set for $39.99 from Lidl online now Lidl didn't have it in store so I will try my best to link it online if I can for you guys I will link it down below but this came with 16 pieces so it has four of the salad plates four of the dinner plates and as you guys can see it's a very nice size and I just love the the color of it it just looks really really nice they had another one that was not available that I wanted and it was like a black marble kind of plate but it had like gold veinings it was just so beautiful but unfortunately I was not able to get that but I'm gonna keep looking for it and hopefully it becomes available again also with this set came four teacups as well as four of the soup bowls so it did come with 16 pieces and we've been loving it I did use it for Christmas and a few other times like New Year's dinner Christmas dinner and I think that's about it so far <laughs> I haven't been using them much but I do plan to get very good use out of this because I just think it's so chic and so cute I just you know I'm vibing with black if you guys can see in the background my favorite color is black <laughs> another item that I want to share with you guys is this black wine rack and it only sits six and it's for our bar area I am going to be making over our bar area that video is coming in the future hopefully the nearby future but I do plan to make over our bar area and I think this would just be perfect for that area and plus it was very inexpensive it was only $9.99 and we got this from Aldi and I just love it I wish I could find one that was larger that can hold more than six bottles but until then until we customize one or whatever I think these will do just fine because we live it on bald and on a budget <laughs> but I just love the way this looks and I think it will complement the bar area this is another plate that I want to share with you guys now this one came separate it sold in separate pieces and each piece cost eight euros a piece so this was a bit of an investment but this is from the via collection by RMB and this is called Levato the black ones are from creatable and they are called soft touch but this one didn't come in a set so I had to buy each piece separately but I just love the shape of them and the look of them it has these kind of like I don't know if you guys can really see it but it's like a ridged edge and then it's just smooth in the center and I just I really really like this look it looks so nice and chic especially when you want to have that you know really <laughs> decked out table setting it just it just looks really really nice and definitely a favorite item really liking these I don't recall telling you guys where the white square plates came from those came from Globus in that area where they have 
the wine glasses and the artificial stems. So if you guys wanted to know, that's where those came from. If I can find them and link them, I definitely will for you guys. But moving on to Kick, y'all know your girl is a Kickaholic. <laughs> I shop at Kick just a little bit too much. <laughs> but we're moving on to Kick because... You know, it just would not be a haul if I don't say I got something from Kick. But anyways, I found this knife set from Kicks for only $9.99. And it came with 16 pieces. So that was perfect for the black um, plate set that we found at Lidl Online. And this was so inexpensive. I was actually looking for something that was gold. I wanted some gold pieces to add to our um, drawers. But I could not find any gold pieces until afterwards. Like literally until after I bought these. Then I found some gold pieces. But I'm still very happy about these instead. Because the gold ones that I've been finding are kind of more yellowish. And I really don't want that yellow kind of gold. I really want a nice bronzy kind of rich color of gold. But anyways, I'm happy with this purchase. And it was very inexpensive. Only $9.99 for a 16-piece set. So definitely a good buy. Now, if you guys did not watch my makeover for my kitchen cabinets, my spice cabinets, definitely go ahead and check that video out. I did not post a organizational video for the pantry area, or should I say my pantry cupboard, because I really don't have a pantry. But I did purchase these really large jars, and I did make the labels over myself. I did the labels on my printer and I just bought some sticky paper off Amazon and I printed them very inexpensive and I just like to put things that are going to expire. I like to stick those at the back there so I will remember and when it's time to throw them away just get rid of them. So that's a good idea or you can just put it at the bottom but I did get these really large ones for I want to say I want to say $2.99. But if you guys watched that video of my um, organization stuff that I bought, then you can find the prices. But I bought this size. The second size up from it is this one right here. And then, of course, the smaller one are these right here. So I just have my nuts in these. But I do like the way this makes the cupboards look. I did not want to get too much of these because your girl just kept going back and getting more and <laughs> going back and getting more until I was like, you know what? I really need to cool off because these are glass and these are very heavy. Like they are very heavy. The glass itself with nothing inside it. And I was just saying, you know what? We need to slow down because we don't want to put so much of these inside the cupboard that it falls off the walls. So, <laughs> your girl eased up a bit, but this is a very nice set. And these ones, I think, was a Euro, don't quote me, a Euro something. This was a Euro something. This was also a Euro something. I want to say like a Euro 60 something. And this was two. 99 I want to say but don't quote me if I find it I will definitely post it for you guys but those are a very very good investment so good that I bought I cannot even give you a number I bought a lot <laughs> let's just leave that there so sticking with kick I also have some that I wouldn't say vessels they're more like vases because they're kind of uh they're not the highest quality, but they're cute. So I did buy this, and this came from Kick for $3.99. So this was $3.99, which is four euros if we're rounding it off. Then I bought this one because I wanted something with some kind of shape to it. And I bought this one for $3.99 as well. I really just bought it for the shape because I'm making over my entryway closet. It's not really a closet. It's a bookshelf. It's a china closet. Yeah. 
I'm making that over. So I wanted to get some items for it and I found this. It was very inexpensive. So I said, why not? And I also got another piece to go with it that looks similar, but not. So this is the shape of this one. It almost looks like a swan or like a snake or something crawl, curling the head and the tail. But anyways, I bought these two. Sorry for the lighting, guys. I bought these two together. And I just thought that they would be cute inside the book closet or bookshelf or whatever you call it nowadays. But I just said that these would look really nice in there. I want to find a lot more uh, black items or what I'll do is just buy a few more of these and just spray them black. But I do want to add some black accents inside that closet as well. So these came from Kix and yeah, that's all that I have from Kix so far. This is editing me just popping in to say that I did get one more item from Kick and it's these tea boxes. If you guys did watch my last home haul, I did get some tea boxes that were clear and see-through but those were damaged. So I did take them back to Kick and I replaced them with these wooden ones with a glass top instead. And I do like these one more. They are much sturdier even though I do wish that they were clear. I do like them more. So I just wanted to pop in and include this one. I had to secure those faces and stuff because I did not want them to break. But moving on to what we bought from Amazon, I want to start with these napkins. And this came in a set of six and they're really, really large napkins. They're like 50 by 50, I think. But they're really, really large napkins. So you can do a lot with these. I do want to go back and purchase some other off-white ones, maybe like a beige tone or whatnot, but these look really, really nice. And it's not so that like slippery material, but I do want to find some linen cloths because I just think the linen cloths would just give a little more. But these were a very good investment as well. And we've used them a few times and they seem to be holding up really, really well. So that is good. We bought these for, I want to say, 11 euros and some change. I can't remember the exact price. But yeah, I like them. So we bought those from Amazon. And last but definitely not least, I would say that I saved the best for last, are these coffee table books okay so your girl's birthday is coming up really really soon it's at the beginning of february i told my husband i want some coffee table books for my present okay that's what i want for my birthday i want some coffee table books okay <laughs> so he bought me these two <laughs> y'all be sleeping on amazon when it comes to coffee table books because these were very inexpensive with both of these together, I will put the prices on the screen for you guys because I can't really remember the exact price. But with both of these together, it came to under 60 euros. And that's with both books, both of them. So this one is called The White Company, London for the Love of White, The White and Neutral Home. And this one is called Made for Living. And if I had to pick a favorite, it would definitely be this one. <laughs> this one is really, really good as well, but it has like some really stark white images and stuff that I'm not so much of a fond of. You guys can see my background. Y'all don't see much white around except for the wall colors. <laughs> but it has a lot of really white colors inside it or white decor inside it. And if you guys love white, then definitely this is the book for you. But it also has a lot of neutral tones. So the neutral tones definitely stand out more to me. The ones with more browns and more grays and stuff like that. That stands out more to me because I do like a little bit of color in my space. I may not be huge on color, but I do like to see little pops of colors around. And I just, I'm looking for, there it is. I'm looking for this image. Like for example, this right here. I love, trying to 
sorry, the color for you guys. I'm sorry for the lighting, but I love the way this looks. I love the concrete um, stand. I love the concrete fire pit. I love the woods. I love the background. I love the wicker set in the background. I love everything about this picture. Now this I can see myself living in. I could definitely see myself living in more neutral tones than more stark white tones. But this is a definite good read and I love how it also breaks down the decor and says what you would need to actually create that if that's what you're trying to do. If you need assistance with creating some looks, it's very, very helpful with breaking down what you need to create that image as well. And for this little guy right here, because it's not as large as this book, as you guys can see height wise, it's not as large as it, but this little guy packs a big punch, okay? <laughs> I'm just going to turn to an image that I really like because there's a lot in here that I really really love but oh this kitchen this kitchen's it this is it I just love it I love the island with the black and as you guys can see the cupboards are not white they're like a kind of cream or beige color and then the hardware looks like it's black or some brass gold or something like that but I just love it this this is my speed you know this speaks out to me more but I love having the option of both books because both books aren't perfect like this book has a lot of images that I don't really like for example this right here is definitely not my space not my kind of you know cup of tea but it is very pretty and it's nice to look at. I just would not like looking at it in my home <laughs> or, you know, but I would like, I like seeing it in other person's home or other people do it, but I would more lean towards a space that looks something like this. The only thing I would change about this space would probably be the colors of the cabinets. I would not want them to be all white because it just looks so cold to me when I see things that are too white it just makes me feel like the room is lifeless <laughs> like it's not lived in like it's only for show like a showroom when you see a showroom it's literally everything stark white and then you have everything around it trying to bring the room to life so that's what I get when I see too much white in a space but I do like seeing a lot of white in a space if that makes sense I just don't want it in my space. <laughs> so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give your girl a big thumbs up. Go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. If you have not as yet, it is free, guys. So go ahead and subscribe. And I will see y'all in my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any video ideas that you want me to create for you guys, leave them down in the comments below. And I will definitely get back to you guys on that. So until then, choose. <laughs>